What's up guys, South Black NYC here, back with another video, and today we are going to be raiding all four of the Fortnite cars that have just been added in in a recent update. This has got to be one of the best updates Fortnite has had in a while. I love these cars so much. They're so fun to use. Honestly, so far they're looking pretty balanced. As long as they don't end up like ballers where people end up camping in them all game, I'm going to be fine. And it's not like the ball it's not like the ballers which had no way of disabling them. With the cars, you can shoot at a tire. That car is literally that car is literally like taking damage by the second and it's easy to shoot out. But you know, this is a great item, very balanced, and I'm gonna give, be giving you my personal ratings. So let's see. Let's start off with the Universal Pros, the good things that all four cars had. And when I say good things, I don't just mean good things for, like, the car. I mean good things for, like, the game. And you're going to see what I'm talking about right now. The fact that you can shoot out the tires has got to be probably the smartest thing Epic has done. I love the fact that you can disable a car without melting it for 800 health. That, that's that's got to be the smartest thing. I love the fact that you can shoot out the tire, car goes flying... It's disabled, and the people in it have to get out. You know, and it's not it's not that hard of a thing to do, really. Just shoot out a tire. So that's one thing I love about the cars. Another thing I gotta love about them is probably the radio stations. I love the radio stations so much. Who would have thought? Imagine you went back in time, and you told the Epic developers, not even 2017, like in 2015, when this game was literally just saved the world. We've been like, hey, so I'm from the future. In five years, you're gonna have one of the most successful games in the world. You're going to be driving cars around. Lamborghinis. And listening to 21 Savage. Drake. Cardi B. All those mainstream artists. J. Cole. You're going to be driving around. With. Rocket propelled grenade launchers. RPGs. Shooting people's tires out. Who would have thought that honestly? Uh, not me. And if, he, if I was a developer and you told me that. I would have said you were crazy. And sure enough, Fortnite's crazy. Let's get started with the strongest car. It's got to be the mud flap. The pros about it, it easily does 100 damage on a clean hit. It takes out builds like it's nothing. And it's not that hard to find. You can find this car, honestly. You don't even have to land at a POI to find this car. I mean, obviously the best place to find the mud flap would probably be places like Dirty Docks or lazy or and honestly along any road anywhere where there's a slurp truck you probably find this car slurpy swamps you can find a couple of these so those are the pros the cons it's very slow i mean it honestly it might not even be slow it might just be the perspective of it like it's a giant truck taking up half the road and it's the only thing you see and like the other day i was playing i was like wow this goes really slow but then I checked the speedometer and I was going 60. So, I don't know. This isn't really a bad car. I honestly think it's underrated. But the best mode to use this is definitely solos. Don't try and use this in squads or duos. Honestly, this wouldn't be a bad duos car, though. It wouldn't be as good as a whiplash, but it wouldn't be a bad duos car. The most consistent car has to be the OG Bear. And the best mode for this car is definitely squads. Uh, some pros about it. It has four... Four seats for a full squad, and the two back have a full range of motion and sensitivity, which is pretty good. Pretty much to like the boat seats where you can do a full, you know, 360, and you can hit some easy shots from the back of this. Definitely a great car. You can also emote in the back. Um, and it's great for off-road. You know, it's got great handling, great tires. Pretty good car all around. Only con is the drift is so slow. I don't know why, but I really thought when the cars first came out, I thought this was the only car you could drift. But then I realized you could drift all of them, which makes sense. You know, why would you have a Lamborghini that you can't drift? I mean, Lambos can't drift in real life, but that's besides the point. But this car, I thought it was the only one that you can drift. And sure enough, it, it wasn't. And I tried drifting this car. And I'm going to say this now to save you the trouble. Do not try to drift the OG Bear. It's, it's physically impossible. Don't even try it. Same with the mud flap. Don't try and drift these cars. 
the most balanced car is definitely prevalent. And the best mode for this car is definitely squads. It's got the four seats for a squad. It's got decent speed along with great drifting and power. The only con is the off-road ability. And honestly, the off-road ability isn't even that bad. But this is... If you're in a squads match and you're trying to get a car win, you're trying to use the cars to your advantage, take this car. Any prevalent you can get, take it. It's got... It's just got great speed, great fuel efficiency. It's not like it's going to boost and use up half the speed in five seconds. And, you know, this is an all-around great car. Honestly, I got to say this might be... In terms of getting wins, and, like, if I'm trying to get wins using a car, this has got to be my favorite car. I love this car so much. Especially the GG2020. That's the best one. How can I forget about the Lambo? The Ferrari. The beauty, the whiplash. The pros is definitely the speed, and the boost is great for zone and dipping out of battles. Also great for breaking down builds. That's good. But uh, but this car isn't. This car definitely has a lot of hype, and it lives up to most of it. It's just that the boost drains too. I mean, it doesn't drain too much fuel. It drains an absolutely fair amount of fuel. But the off-road ability is horrible. This car has the slowest off-road ability out of all of them. It does like 25 to 30 miles per hour. It's pretty bad. But this is definitely the best car for solos and duos, especially duos. You got one person driving. The other person's got like an SMG or an AR. Just spraying the praying. That's all it is. This is a great car. Fun cars to use. My top four fun cars to use is def number four. It's got to be the mud flap. It's a good car. It's a great. It's a great vehicle. It's just that it's not. Um, if you're gonna be in a battle lab with somebody, and you're like, oh, let's have some fun with the cars. You're gonna all go for the whiplash and do some like, some 360s, doing some donuts, racing around the map. You're not gonna go for a mud flap and be like, I don't know, battering rams. I mean, that would be fun though. No, I think about it. That would be pretty fun. I want to try that. Number three's got to be the OG Bear. That that's a fun that's fun if you want to do like some off road racing and stuff, you know. It's got a decent amount of health, so you can definitely do some like head to head combat with some OG bears. That's a, those are great. Number two, it's got to be the prevalent. It's a very fun car to use. I was actually playing in a battle lab yesterday with three of my friends, and, and we were just practicing for for matches. So we would all get in the prevalent. My cousin would be driving. His, his channel is going to be in a card right about here. And um, he was driving around. And we were, it was me, um, YBK Dylan. Definitely go subscribe to his channel. I'll leave a link for his uh, channel in a card or in the description. And my friend Yi. And we were just driving around, murking trees <laughs> and just blowing up gas, gas stations and stuff. It was so fun. The cars, the cars, I gotta say, this is probably the best update since, since shopping carts. Probably before that. I don't want to say since Tilted, because there have been a lot of good updates. I feel like this is the best update since shopping carts. This is such a great update. And I love it, really. And the most fun car to use in Battle Lab, Creative, whatever, definitely the Whiplash. We raced around the map yesterday in the battle lab. It was just so fun. We were just driving around. Like, who would have... Th I'm, I'm going to say this again, but who would have thought in 2017, people would be driving around in Lambos, black Lambos, yellow Lambos, red and blue Lambos, just skirting around the map, listening to 21 Savage. It's just unheard of for Fortnite. And it's just, it's just great. I love it. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to try to get out a sports video. I'm also going to try and do a... I'm going to try I'm gonna try and do a Battle Lab video. I don't want to stream it because I might end up accidentally playing the beatbox station and getting copyrighted, so I don't want to do that. But if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to leave some friends' links in the description. Subscribe to their channels. Catch you guys on the next one.